What's up, guys, and welcome to Mass Effect Episode 3. Gotta hit that volume on the TV a little bit, but thanks for coming by. Uh, after seeing how many people liked the first and second episode, I felt like I didn't even get into the game yet. Uh, it encourages me to see that you guys are all... You want this, so let's continue. John Shepard's Soldier, Citadel, Presidium. Uh, if you guys remember from last time, we are going back to the council to point out that they're wrong and that the bad guys really are bad guys. What's his face? It's been a couple weeks since I played this. I'm sorry. <laughs> Went on vacation. But let's get into it. Uh... Loading screen to loading screen to loading screen? Okay. All right. So we're taking Garrus and Tally with us to the council. So let's go ahead. What's that X? Is that where we're supposed to go? Last time I was looking at some of this stuff. But let's go ahead and address the council. I've been watching Star Trek too, so I might mix up some of my alien races. <laughs> Samish. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Yeah, who are you? Commander Shepard. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Sure, it's no up? trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. <laughs> That's garbage. Did they say why? Why? Like why? Yeah. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared mm. it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. You want to bet she was, like, vaporized or something? Well, I guess I'll find we'll out. Into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Do you think the council gets pissed off that we make them wait all the time? The expensive bar's here? No? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and Sea Does she have anything different to say? Like, I was seeing... On the seeing... far end of this level, you can this see the, the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets X. regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. No, I'm good. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy There's the transport the ship. Where was the expensive bar he was talking about? C-Sec, Citadel... Wards? Wait, there's an exclamation mark right there. I don't remember any of the controls. Hopefully I don't do anything dumb. Oh, okay. Um. How do I unequip? How do, guys, help. <laughs> how do I get in there? I don't mean to be pulling my gun out. I'm sorry. I just wanted to run. Oh, there it is. Yay. All right. I think it's got to be over here somewhere. There we go. No. Oh, that he just switched weapons. No, he just switched weapons again. Shepard, put your guns away. <laughs> How do I... Okay, I gotta, I gotta look. <laughs> Options. Controls. Can I look at them? What? Don't make me have to Google this. Son of a... I hope no one gets mad. These are diplomats. This guy should have given me better freaking directions. This looks like an expensive bar. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She talked up here at Jailbox if she did. Who did they say we had to talk to? Yes, this is the bar. Nothing like the girls back on the colonies. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. 
I don't think it was you. For quite a briefing in the diplomatic At least I put my gun is away. I, can do to assist I am. It is you. Ha ha. I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Mm hmm. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. So you're running tests. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Dang it, this is gonna be... Respectfully, Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. <sighs> Ooh, this is gonna be a tough one. How long? How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. A year? Bodies? Yeah, yeah, wait a second. You've got to have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, this is Commander, hardcore. we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. In a few years. I'm releasing the body? Or this isn't right? I can't choose that? Oh, because that's the... We gotta be charismatic. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander... You of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. It's going to be a couple years, but then I'll be in Mass Effect 3. <sighs> Not if we lose our humanity oh, in the wait. process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. Oh, he didn't like Man. that. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Batia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Yeah. Tell Samesh <laughs> that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. He's not happy about it. We should have picked the neutral. We got Paragon points, though. Sweet. Oh, I forgot, like, actually getting fatigued is a thing. So you got a soft jog. Soft jog. Star Wars doors are faster. I'm, I'm just going to point that out. These doors are like puzzle piece doors. All right, let's get to the Citadel before anyone else asks us to do anything. Wait, can we talk back to him? We just walk by him. Oh, yeah, we solved your problem, by the way. <laughs> Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? She's coming home. I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. I don't feel like I needed to call Thank him out you. for that, but... I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Okay. Excuse me. Did we have any other quests? Journal. Oh, crap. We got a bunch. You have been approached by Conrad Werner. He seems like a harmless fan. Sort by oldest? Uncovered in the report, one of the patrols mentioned some strange activity in the Hydra system of the Argos Row Cluster. Can't go to that one yet. The Asari Consort uh, Sharia has asked you to speak to General Septimus. She's concerned that his former client is spreading false accusations and could damage her reputation. Where is he? General Septimus should be... Oh, no! Oh, luckily it's clicking the same button. Did we see General Septimus in that bar? All right, back to the fancy pants bar. There we go. Executor Palin? I, I'm not supposed to talk to you. I mean, I can, but like, there's no... Who's the general? That's Nasana. Bartender. 
Just creepily scan this keeper. A little closer. Doing nothing. It's for the money. Look, it's a tough world out there. Shepard needs to make his cash. Everybody's got to have a side hustle, right? Shepard's is scanning keepers. Private Fedrix. I can talk to Fedrix. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Yeah. Rude. There's something I could do for you. Yeah, what do you, you know about the consort? About the Asari consort. I, uh, well, Shepard's a little intense. Asari who works here as that is she helps people with things. <laughs> you never went to see her, did you? I, uh, Ooh! No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. All right. That's fine, Private. Just tell me where to find her. We already met her. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Maybe we should have been talking to these people earlier. I must have just completely missed this part. Who are you? You're a diplomat? This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Racist. All right, what do you got to say then? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? I go where I want. Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Someone like me? Was there something you needed, Commander? Investigation? Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. Ooh. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. I don't think it's good to like be like. We're good. I'll be going now. Goodbye. This guy seems a little prickly. No reason to piss him off. What's in this room? There's a diplomat. Diplomat archive. Keep her to scan. Elcor diplomat. Alright. I think these guys are just more information dumps, probably. Well, it looks like Bahiri or whatever his name was is gone. Go for a nice soft jog down next to the water. There he's gone. Is that the guy? No, I don't think so. Same white outfit. The Citadel. Is there any more quests around here that we had to do? Who's yelling at someone? You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. Hey. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? What's the problem? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Mmm. <laughs> Arrest it. Uh, what's the rules of the permit? So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Hmm. You're pathetic. <laughs> if you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. 
I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You are certainly you call him a jelly? Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Han our language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. Could I buy you a permit? What if I purchased the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay mm. in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 <laughs> credits necessary. Okay. To you do now. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. I don't think that's what I'm doing, this but sure. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. Shepherd, keeper of the peace. I did your job. See the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here, for your assistance in this matter. 150? Now, excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Hey, we got 17 and some Medi Gel. Alright, well, we just purchased some Medi Gel, basically. What, uh. I guess we can't find that guy. What about this one? Confronted Corbin and Jalid's allocations, he revealed that Jahil did not tell you the whole truth. He and Corbin were stealing from the company they worked for and doing illegal. What do we gotta do on that? Can I see where those are? Like, did they show me on the map? Avena. I just don't remember where these people are. <laughs> Avena. Emporium. Can I look deeper into there? going to present the evidence to the council. We gotta get to the council. Let's just get to the council. And uh, maybe we'll be able to figure out that other stuff later. <laughs> and we're gonna learn a lesson. If we can't do it, we can't do it. And tis what it is. Wasn't obvious. Is this the tower? All right, let's get back into the Citadel Tower. Man, we need to get on some planet where I can shoot some stuff. Yeah, we'll see. The council's pretty set in their ways. Soft jog crew. Staff jog. This was the day before they put quest markers above things and you just had to remember. They just didn't think I was going to go on a vacation in between my playing. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. The Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. Quick scan. Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. I'm here, I'm ready. Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Finally, status, man. and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. Let's go. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Matriarch Benezia? Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. 
Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. That's not good for I'm us. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Proteans. Then they vanished. The Geth revere them. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Mm, not yet. Saren thinks he can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. You're too Where hopeful. Where go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. You doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. I feel like this that's the different. same as the middle choice. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the guest to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. Oh my gosh. To his will. I've seen him. Hmm. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the yeah, universe. Dina. Send your fleet in. A fleet cannot track down one man. A citadel fleet could secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. True. Or could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Oh, wow. Okay. Send me. I can take Saren down. The commander's right. There is a way to stop Saren that doesn't require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Yeah, but it is the best solution. I am ready. I'm ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Kind of interesting. It's like the aliens are all the racist ones. Commander Shepard. I guess everyone is racist in this thing. Ooh, a little bit of a ceremony. Everybody's leaning forward. This is intense. This is a moment. It is the decision of I the took like one step forward. All the powers and privileges of the special tactics and reconnaissance branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol. The embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace. How many times did they have to practice this speech? Last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thank you. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Sarah. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Do you have any leads? Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Did it. Congratulations, Commander. Thank you. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. 
I'll need your help to set all this up. Spectre inductee. I thought the ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. That's eh, no big deal. He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Spectre bonus. Spectre training talent unlocked. This is doing like a weird squat before that. Okay. Well, they want us to go down to C-Sec. Um, see if there's any other of those keepers around. What are you two doing over here? Those knees are pretty close. Look at, look at the... If you go quick enough, he like slides. <laughs> What's this? Anything? No, okay. I think this is it for the Citadel. But I wouldn't believe everything you hope okay. Gareth? I'm on a break. Talk to someone else if you need anything. I've got a lot on my mind. What's wrong? Maybe I can help. Mm. I'm good at taking quests. Well, maybe you can. And then being You're confused as to where right? I'm supposed to go. You ever head out to the traverse? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm not just some soldier. I'm a specter. Ooh! <laughs> a specter? I heard they were thinking about letting humans into the ranks. About time. Well, that means you can go anywhere you want, right? Even out into the Traverse? My brother's the captain of a ship called the Majesty. It was crossing the Traverse a few days ago when it disappeared. Just dropped right off the grid. And that usually means one of two things. They had massive mechanical failure... Or they were attacked. Those are both bad. <laughs> Neither one of those options leaves a lot of hope. <laughs> I won't give up on my brother. Not yet. I've got the coordinates for the last transmission from his vessel. What kind of ship was it? Don't let the name fool you. The Majesty's just a small trading vessel, only a handful of crew. But he kept it in good condition. I don't think mechanical failure is too likely. But they don't That's have not the other options. Not shields. great then. If anyone did come after them, the Majesty'd be a sitting duck. Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Give me the coordinates. They call me I'll Luke them to your ship right away. Please let me know as soon as you find him. Yeah, I'll give you a call. Oh, we gotta go out to the Traverse. We gotta. There's several locations we gotta go. We gotta find out who the consort was pissed at. Some general or something. Maybe he was at the bar. I don't know. Last time we went to that other bar, we had to shoot everyone there. So that wasn't good. But. Elevator music. In other news, ExogeniCorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Suspicious. Honestly, this armor is pretty cool. Okay, well, let's decide what we want to do then. We gotta go down to the C Tech one, obviously, but what about the other quest that we have? Working on that, five out of twenty. Okay. Where was Conrad? Oh, Conrad was okay. I remember where Conrad. Reporter Emily Wong, uncovering corruption in the Citadel. I mean, we just got that one. And that one we can't do anything about. That's cool. That was what we just heard on the... That's cool. So we're going down the elevator and we just heard about this team that got lost in the Hades Gamma Cluster. No one's talking about it. And we're going to have the option to go explore it? There's so much decision making. <laughs> okay. So we still need to look for General Septimus. And I can't remember where Jalid's Jalid is. So I'm assuming we'll be able to come back and like solve some of these issues. I don't know if anything's time sensitive in this game. If it is, let me know in the comments. 
Oh no, you. Is this the dedicated area or am I gonna have to yell at you? All right, I guess he's fine. It's not giving me the option to talk to him. This is it to the wards? See, text over here. Oh. Saw nothing. I was totally discreet. Does anyone know where Delete is? Don't want to get too exhausted. I like General Septimus. No one knows where he is either. C Tech Academy is this way. Helena Blake. Got a moment, Spectre. Ooh, she already knows the good news. Hello, Spectre. I have a business proposition for you. <laughs> good for you. How do you know me? How did you know I'm a Spectre? Word travels. Your name comes up in certain circles. I'm acquainted with a pair of powerful crime bosses. They're hiding on remote worlds, and I have the coordinates. You could do the galaxy a favor. Hmm. This is weird. What do you get out of this? We share interests in certain cooperative ventures. Oh, so you, are they even the bad guys, or you just... Our relationship. Once they are dead, I will manage our dead. organization in a more tasteful manner. She literally just hired us as a hitman. Let's be firm with her. I don't even know well, who she is. With them. Why don't I just arrest you instead? Ooh! Arrested for what? You and I are simply having a conversation. She asked me to murder people. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. You're obviously with them. Why don't I just arrest you? That's instead? the same. Arrested for what? You that's, and I are simply having that a That seems uh, not like I actually had the choice. I have excellent legal representation. Arresting me would be a waste of your time. Well, what are their known crimes? What crimes did these men commit? What's the pay? They're red sand dealers who make victims of their customers. Those who can no longer pay are sold to Batarians as slaves. Well, that's not They're good. They're loathsome, hurting innocent people. They must be ended. But if you were in business with it, like, she said she got out of business with them. Hmm. What kind of defenses would these two have? I haven't the faintest idea, but they're certain to be armed. Not very helpful. Their partnership soured, and each believes that the other intends to kill him. They will be well prepared. Hmm. Man, they really put you in tough spots in this one. Save people from slavery by killing people, or ignore them and let them be sl like, uh, I could say I'll do it, and I guess if we go there, see what options are there. If they're as bad as you say they are, they need to be dealt with. But I think she Excellent. needs to be dealt with too. Honestly, she's sketchy. When these men are dead, I will wait for you at the third set of coordinates. Super sus. Goodbye, Commander. It's been a pleasure to meet you. I accused her of being a criminal. She might be uh Oh, that's a renegade choice. Uh-oh. Yep. So, getting hired for assassinations is bad. Should have known. Should have known. Oh, there's another keeper over there. It's not giving me. Ah, it totally didn't notice us. Wait, there's a keeper down there. We gotta go get. Don't mind me. Um, 
I'm not scanning you guys for any particular reason. I'm wondering if this is going to end up being something bad. <laughs> I'm kind of like interested to do it to see what happens with it and also interested to do it. Like, I don't think I should do I don't know. It's <laughs> I like this game. It makes me question all my decisions. <laughs> It wasn't completely obvious. That's the Citadel Rapid Transit. Garris, get out of here. No, this, yeah, that's what I thought. This was the... Uh, embassies, no, we wanna go back. I'm, I'm trying. Oh, okay. Fine. I didn't want to have to use your stuff anyway, and I enjoy walking around the Citadel. Going to Sea Tech. Since I don't remember where Jahid was, even though he sent me to kill his partner who thought he was sending him to kill. So yeah, that was a whole situation as well. Embassy. Where was the Sea Tech stuff? What? Did I go the wrong way? Oh, it's below. Yay. Well, now that I've ran around the uh, <laughs> the Citadel area, how many times? of the Parliament Subcommittee on Transhuman Studies has been kidnapped by That's going to be another side extremes. quest that we can do. The biotics commandeered a freighter and were last seen in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Did you just both stretch your no neck at the same time? That was made. weird. Now I got to Now I got to stretch my neck. Ah. All right, where are the offices? Yeah, wasn't Jahid up here? This is looking familiar. Yeah, you little turd. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I found out you've been lying to me, Jalid. Ooh. Lying? Why would I lie to you? Money? I forgot to mention the data about the Keeper. Uh, he told you I didn't mean for any of this to happen <laughs> I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data so I well I was hoping you'd take care of him yeah we know I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin but you two need to stop fighting you're you're helping us but well if you say so well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. I'm interested, like... Is it weird that the Keeper's quest is the one that I found most intriguing? Because no one knows what they're doing or why they're doing it. Hello, Commander. You guys know where that general is? Does he not have an office here or something? Where does this go? To the wards? Or is this still Sea Tech? Totally not obvious. Man, the set pieces in this game, though. I haven't even gotten anywhere yet, and I'm like amazed. The other side. A 
La la la. Nah, you didn't see nothing. What's up, requisition officer? Hello, Commander. I need supplies. Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Well, this must be a mistake. System telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre. Yep. Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just show me what you've got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. They still have to buy it, and I can't afford anything. <laughs> Look, show me what you got. I can't afford it. Some heavy armor, medium armor. Can I compare it? Yeah. That does a lot more. But 1800? That's not even. Ooh, Garrus, your armor is trash. And so that Hydra and Agent 1 are not. What? That's all the way out? Really? Show me what you've got. I click B and it's like, you're done talking and looking at stuff completely. Alright. Grenade upgrade, assault rifle. Sell all junk. We have almost enough to buy like one thing in the other other uh, in the store. Hmm. I think we're fine for now. I don't know what to spend my money on yet. So, do we have to buy something from him? Working on that, 10 out of 20. We can go talk to Conrad. Are we free then? Like, is it just being like, go find him? Okay. I got to decide what I want to do then. I, I have no idea. That's cool. Let's get to the ship. See what happens. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Interesting, they had like a commercial for her. I think our ship's down in the wards. I don't know. There's a keeper down here. Hey, we leveled up off of scanning that keeper. Med clinic. Where did my sheep... Shit. Where did my sheep go? Shepard can't find his ship. Markets. No. It's fine. Oh, it's just like a codex thing to... Observe. Honestly, it looks, it's kind of like the Halo rings in a way. Cause they got like city on like a slab. There's Emily Wong. Oh, romantic couple. What do you guys got? Nothing. Where does this lead to? To the Presidium? 
No, Emily Huang. We already talked to you. I didn't find any corruption. Wait a second. It does say that we could talk to her, though. So maybe I did find corruption? Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. Oh, yeah. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Um... I don't remember what I found, but I guess I'm giving them to you. <laughs> These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got Fist's files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Thank you. I can offer more. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be worth quite a bit. Shepard hitting on her? I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see... Or did we just shake her down for money? Is this going to end poorly? <laughs> yes, I love it. There hasn't been this much uncertainty in a game in so long. Expat? This is where that fan guy was. Did I already scan you? I guess so. Well, green dots are sales. Where do you think that general guy is? Anybody in here? More lawn? He's just another salesman. Has anyone gone back into Cora's den? Man, we gotta find our way to our ship. Oh yeah, this place is popping. What do you mean, huh? She's got a neck problem. There he is. Commander. What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and there's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? You tell him, Garrus. Has she rejected me? Me! Septimus Araka, general of the Turian fleet. I understand. I'm a, I'm a specter now. We deserve the respect. Is it worth it? Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman I want. It's, it's her. And her alone. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Straighten up. You're a general. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Ooh! Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Glad here. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. <laughs> Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... 
Prince disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. <laughs> Take this data pack. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elkhorn. <laughs> okay. Who am I taking it to? Where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elkhorn diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. I kind of like this Thanks. general, actually. <laughs> you know, you might make a good general yourself one day. I'm a specter. I just skipped that. in the back rooms now. Professional hacker. I'm glad that I don't get, like, bad karma from that. <laughs> she didn't quite make it into the room. Come on, you two. Let's get out of here. You can tell it's bad because the lights are red. And there's only two dancers. Oh, there's one over there. Oh, there's a Okay, so they got side dancers. Gotta go back to the embassies. We're already at 50 minutes. Alright, we might go back to the embassies, complete that, and then uh, that'll be it for this episode. And maybe I'll do another episode after that of the next mission. Wait. Yeah, this. This would make this so much quicker. Zoom, zoom. Gotta go find the right ambassador. And I gotta find my ship. Can I go home? <laughs> hey, we already talked to these guys, I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh. These are the guys you insulted, you dummy. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I can help you. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secret. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here. This should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, human. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. Yeah. The Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Come XP. Do not listen to my voice, compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Thank you, Kaylin. Um. Scan him. This is where it started. Is there any keepers in here? No. Oh. Alright, we gotta find a few more keepers, and we gotta find my ship. Can't go in that room. 
open. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, I first room on the right. Talk to him. Commander! You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Alright, goodbye. I should be going now. I get it, you're all informed. Can you tell me where my ship is? Presidium Tourism Terminal I lost it. There are many points of interest here. Including the Citadel embassies and sea This is that real gameplay you guys have been asking for. At this level, you can see the Citadel <laughs> Where's my ship? Where the council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Vectors return, Citadel cancel. Um, you're not helpful. Log off. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Yeah, we leveled up. Okay, um... To get sniper rifles, I was told that I gotta finish assault rifles. Which just makes sense. Sniper rifles are unlocked. Cool. What you got? Um, you need more tactical armor because honestly, it's garbage. Increasing melee damage, weapons damage, adrenaline burst. Get that decryption. Dampening's now unlocked. What does she got? What does she got? I can't toggle the helmet? You can kind of see your eyes in there a little bit. Bummer. It doesn't let me toggle it. Um, she's fully leveled up there. Let's do electronics. What does dampening do? Increase the explosion radius of your tech? Increase that. We should level up to that plus, then we can use shotguns. Interesting leveling system. I, uh, I don't mind it, but we'll see if I'm walking myself into any corners. Journal? No. Sorry. Map. Okay. Okay, here we go. So, we went into there. Nothing here. That's the Embassy Lounge. Um, the Emporium. We gotta go back and talk to her? Okay. Well, I guess we can go do that. Try and finish up as many things as we can before I, you know, find my ship. <laughs> uh, Presidium Locations. Consort Chambers. Ooh. Have you been scanned? You have been scanned. Look, I'm a specter. I just go straight to the back. I was like, wait, where's the... Where's the stairs? <laughs> Yo. Commander. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Of course. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to. It was my honor to aid you. I don't know about That's honor, but. Kind commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. One more thing to give me if I'm interested. Of course. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding, a wall between dry or you and everyone else, but it protects you, makes you strong. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. That's a little hardcore. You continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Thank you. You have quite a gift, Cheira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, 
I would like you to have this small trinket. A trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. <laughs> I'm gonna give you this. Remember Get out. <laughs> okay. You have a good one. Nope. Sorry, guys. Did be <laughs> used to that being a map button. <laughs> okay. Um. Points of interest. How do I check? All right. Well, I guess it's got to be down below us. Like that's the only place I can think it is. This episode, quest to find Shepard's ship. Then we picked up a bunch of other random stuff. We gotta go out to random systems and rescue people. I really hope there's no time constraints. We gotta go back to the wards. I'm thinking it's gotta be near C-Tech. Or c -Sec. All right, requisition officer's there. Zoom out. Where does this go? The lower wards? So we've already been there to docking bay. Oh my gosh, we found it. Is there any other quests we gotta turn in here though? Should we make sure? Um, hostage. We got seven more of those. We're coming back, right? Or should we, should we search for them? Do you think? I thought we got all the ones up there. And eh, maybe there's some. That, whoa, is that you, Garrus? What's, what's your problem? Take me to the ship. In a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. That was us. We helped with that. Man, they are quick on getting their stuff out. Yes. Hey, guys. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. What? She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I will. Take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. Why are you doing this? No, no I mean, like, do we have, like, it's a gift kind of deal, so, like, any word on Saren? What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conflict. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. What about the Reapers? The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. Oh, Odina. You know? They do exist. The conduit's the key to bringing them back. You're not wrong. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Count on me. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Um, do I, I gotta pick now? Doctor, or, yeah, let's, I guess the doctor. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. Ah, oh, they're just making your a point of that. still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. <laughs> it might be necessary. That's your job. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. 
Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you trying to play nice. Long before you were no politicians get. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Well, Anderson. Yes, Commander. You okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Sarah. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. You and Saren have a past? Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Hmm. So what happened? I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. So something went wrong. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Was anyone hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Oh, wow. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. You got blamed? Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. The Council sucks. To, to believe that guy right off the bat, but like... Uh... Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. It's not fair! Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Well, forget about the past. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. Even though I cared enough to ask you all about that other stuff. What do you know about the Pharaoh stuff? Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruined. That's cool. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Okay. Uh, tell me about the this one where I'm going to the doctor. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Yeah, that. The Artemis much. Tau cluster. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Novaria. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Sounds wonderful. Watch your back there, Shepard. Spectres are about the only form of citadel authority Novaria respects. But they aren't popular. Hmm. And you worked with the Spectres? I want to know the truth about you and Saren. 
I want to know about the mission you were on together all those years ago. Okay, well we just we, we are had intel on okay. rogue science. Okay. Being okay. All by. right. Alliance in we tracked the science. Yep. The plan was simple. Yeah. Sneak into the plant. Capture the scientists. The only thing I care about is stopping You're right. Sarah. Yeah, okay. It's no good. Well, thank you, Captain Anderson. You I'll be here if you need anything. What? Normandy weapons? What? I could. Oh, I just look at them? Oh, there's a keeper. Normandy hull? That's cool. Alright, well, I think I'm gonna call it. For the day, this will be this episode, episode 3 of my Mass Effect playthrough. And oh my goodness, this game is just getting better and better and better. Uh, let's go ahead and hit that save. How many saves do I get? We're four hours in, I feel like we've done like one. I guess we did like break up some crime syndicate stuff, but anyway... So that's uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for coming. Hit that like. Do all that stuff. Um, wow. So learned a lot today. Uh, what I really liked was, first off, the game just opened up to us, right? Like we did all that beginning stuff four or five hours in, um, and now all of a sudden it's telling me, all right, you get to pick where to go. You're a specter. Like that's the whole idea. And I kind of I really like that. First first off, like that's cool. So we'll see how that pans out in the next episode. But uh, the other thing I liked was, like, we were in the elevator, and it was talking about, like, this ship that, like, something happened in this area, uh, and, like, we got to go check it. Like, it gave me a quest just by listening to the radio. And then the other thing I liked was, like, I did these mini quests, and immediately they showed results, like, once again, on the radio in the elevator. It was talking about the guy who was worried about his wife that had died and, like, wanted her body back and, like, recognize her and stuff. And, like, it's very interesting, the interconnectedness of this game is good and uh the interactions on <laughs> the best is the general septimus down in the bar he was really funny he's like i gotta go take some cold shower <laughs> so that was pretty good um and then we solved all those other little things and we're scanning keepers we're gonna have to come back here because i picked up several other quests to like rescue that guy's brother and stuff and to do these other things so yeah pretty cool and the normandy is awesome look at it so cool but Thanks for coming, guys. Um, become the best you can be. Become Hokage. Believe it.